Hi guys, Dr. Sargadi is here. In today's class, we are going to solve some numericals on model analysis. First numerical. A centrifugal pump is running at a 500 rpm at its maximum efficiency is delivering a head of 30 meter at a flow rate of 60 liter per minute. If the RPM is changed to 1000, then the head in meters and flow rate in liter per minute at maximum efficiency are estimated to be. A centrifugal pump is running at a speed of 500 RPM, delivering at a head of 30 meter with a discharge of 60 liters per minute. If the speed of the pump is changed to 1000 RPM, then head in meter and discharge in liter per minute would be we have to find from our previous class we know that for same size of water turbine or pump discharge is proportional to n head is proportional to n square and power is proportional to n cube so from here we can get initial discharge upon initial speed would be equal to final discharge upon final speed if we put the given values into it, we will get these. On further solving, we will get final discharge would be 120 liter per minute. And from here, we can get initial head upon square of initial speed would be equal to final head upon square of final speed. On putting the given values into it, we will get these. And on further solving, we will get final head would be 120 meter. So option B is correct. Let's solve another numerical. A large hydraulic turbine is to generate 300 kilowatt at 1000 rpm under a head of 40 meter. For initial testing, a one fourth scale model of the turbine operates under a head of 10 meter. The power generated by the model will be. As per the question, the hydraulic turbine is to generate power of 300 kilowatt at a speed of 1000 rpm under a head of 40 meter. For initial testing, a scale ratio of 1 by 4 is taken and model is operated at a head of 10 meter. Then power delivered by the model would be, we have to find. From our previous class we know that for same size of hydraulic turbine, discharge is proportional to n, head is proportional to square of n, and power is proportional to cube of n. From these two we can conclude that power upon h to the power 3 by 2 is a constant. And if size of the turbines are not same, then we have to multiply d square over here. So from here we can write power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of model will be equal to power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of prototype. Sorry by mistake I wrote only d in place of d square. So from your expression of the power generated by the model would be this. Where this one is the 300 kilowatt and this one is the 10 upon 40. And this is nothing but the scale ratio which is 1 by 4. So on putting the given values into it, we will get the power generated by the model will be 2.343 kilowatt. So option A is correct. Let's solve another numerical. A model of hydraulic turbine is tested at a head of one fourth of that under which the full scale turbine works. The diameter of the model is half of that of full scale turbine. If n is the RPM of the full scale turbine, then RPM of model would be, we have to find. As per the question, a hydraulic turbine model is being operated at a head of one fourth of the head of prototype. And the diameter of the model is half of the diameter of the prototype. If n is the RPM of the prototype, then RPM of the model would be, we have to find. From our previous class, we know that for same size of water turbine, discharge is proportional to n, head is proportional to n square, and power is proportional to n cube. From here, we can get head upon n square is a constant for same size of turbine. 
but if size of turbines are not same then we have to multiply d square over here so from here we can get head upon n square into d square of model will be equal to head upon n square into d square of prototype from here we can easily get the expression for the speed of the model which is this in the question it is given n and it is given 2 and it is given 1 by 4 by putting given values into it we will get speed of model will be n so option c is correct let's solve one more numerical a test is conducted on a one-fifth scale model of a Francis turbine under a head of 2 meter and volumetric flow rate of 1 meter cube per second at 450 rpm. Take water density and acceleration due to gravity as 1000 kg per meter cube and 10 meter per second square respectively. Assume no losses in model and prototype. The power of a full size turbine while working under a head of 30 meter is we have to find. As per the question, a Francis turbine model is tested at a scale ratio of 1 by 5 working under a head of 2 meter at a discharge of 1 meter cube per second and a speed of 450 rpm. Density of water is given 1000 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is given 10 meter per second square. And it is sad to assume that losses are zero. And we have to find the power developed by the full sized of the turbine working under head of 30 meter. From our previous class we know that for same size of turbine, discharge is proportional to speed head is proportional to square of speed and power is proportional to cube of speed. From these two we can further conclude that for same size of turbine power upon h to the power 3 by 2 is a constant and if size of the turbines are not same then we have to multiply d square over here. Then from here we can write power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of model will be equal to power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of prototype. From this we can get the expression for the power of the prototype which is this. And in the question it is given 5 and this is given 30 by 2. On putting given values and solving we will get this. So in order to get the power of the prototype, we first have to find the power of the model. Let this one is equation 1. In the question it is given that losses are 0. That means overall efficiency is 100%. And we know that the expression for overall efficiency is short power output upon net power input. And for model, this short power output is nothing but this. And net power input is weight flow rate into net head of model. And weight flow rate can be written as density into discharge into acceleration due to gravity. So by putting these value into the expression, we can write overall efficiency is this. And after putting the values given in the question and further solving it, we will get power of the model is 20 kilowatt. So on putting this value into the equation 1, we get the power of the full size turbine while working under a head of 30 meter is 29.047 megawatt. So the answer would be 29.05 megawatt corrected to the two decimal places. That's it for this class guys. If you found my these videos useful, chances are my these videos are useful too. So check out these videos and to subscribe my channel just click on this. And do not forget to click the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video till end. I really appreciate.